Supernatural VR has been one of the most noticeable VR workout games since it was launched in 2020. Back in March of this year, I did a full review on the game and although it had some good features and showed a lot of promise, I found that it was lacking in content and challenging workouts for it to be worth the monthly subscription fee. This month, Supernatural VR launched their brand new Box feature. And as I love using Box as my VR workout, I decided to jump back in and give it a try. Interested in knowing if the Box update makes Supernatural worth the $19 US per month? Stay to the end to find out. At the end of October, I got a super exciting email from Supernatural announcing that Supernatural Boxing is here. The email immediately hooked me and I knew I had to try it right away. Supernatural has always amazed me on how they incorporate real trainers into their fitness app. And they seem to be the only app that's really focusing on a proper workout system with a warm up and a cool down, even if those two parts are a little bit on the short side. My main criticism of the game back in March was that the workouts weren't really that challenging and they were a little bit too much like Beat Saber to really warrant that monthly subscription fee. But with a super strong community and a great social media presence, I have definitely kept my eyes on a Supernatural, looking for that excuse to jump back in. And the box release was it. Jumping into the game, I immediately noticed some key differences. The menu has changed with some more option and it was clear that more content had been added. Eager to start exploring, I first headed over to the calibration part of the menu to make sure it was still set up properly before jumping into my first box workout. I have just finished. 40 minutes of Supernatural, um, two box classes, one medium and one high. As you can see, I'm sweating. I added some weight to the final workout just to get a little bit more toning going on. I had an average heart rate of 127 beats per minute, 171 max with 236 calories burned. I would say that's pretty decent. There are some really cool new features that's been added to this game that I'm going to go check out. I'm going to take off my weights and jump back in and see what they're all about. There are four different types of classes within the app. Box, Flow, Meditate, and Recover. Flow is the normal supernatural workout, which you may have seen on social medias. It's a workout set in a beautiful landscape where you are swinging at moving targets while dodging triangles. The mode feels very much like Beat Saber, and I am disappointed that I don't find it very challenging on my strength at all. Uh, there's just not enough squats or lunges to really get any burn going and even though the trainers tell you to keep your arms straight when hitting the targets and i find that games such as synth riders and audio trip use features that make it easier to activate your core something that i find lacking in supernatural the soundtracks are however super fun and no other game has you working out on the moon after my workout session, I decided to head over to the recovery section. There are several stretch classes available and they have different targets like extended warm up or extended cool down. I went for the extended cool down class as this was the most appropriate for me today. The stretchers were easy to follow and definitely hit the spot. Last time I tried Supernatural, the meditation classes were simply bringing you to a beautiful location and playing calm music. So quite underwhelming. I am happy to see that this function has expanded to include guided meditations. I decided to end this session with a guided meditation focused on empowerment. There was definitely some guidance I didn't do the class, but it did feel more like a mantra that you go through at the end of a yoga session than a guided meditation. I am someone who used mindfulness and meditation daily, and I didn't find that this was something that could really replace my daily practice. However, it was a really, really nice way to end my workout. I have had an absolute blast trying Supernatural out for this past week. It definitely got me moving and sweating. However, it didn't challenge me in the way that I would like a fitness app to challenge me. And the way the app is set up made me feel like I was leaving a lot behind. Comparing it to other box and fitness apps, Supernatural offer no immediate feedback on how you are doing when it comes to accuracy and strength and other implementations that you would see in a typical fitness game. There is the streak measurement and that is it, and you get a short summary at the end of each track. Personally, I'm an incredibly competitive person, so competing against myself or someone else and getting higher scores, pushing harder, 
better accuracy is something that really makes me push myself in my workouts and make me feel like I get a lot more out of my workouts than just swinging around and then getting some minor feedbacks at the end. I have also tried fatiguing my muscles, especially my legs, by implementing things like a weighted vest or weighted gloves as well as jumping into some of those upper or lower body area focus workouts that the app offer. However, Supernatural has so much good going for them and they really have a lot of things that I wish other apps would implement. How far they've gotten over the last six months is incredible and there are so many great things that has been added. I am definitely going to keep my eye on this app moving forward as well. If you are new to the VR fitness world and are looking for a holistic program, definitely go and check out Supernatural VR. They do have a free seven day trial on their website. I will link that down below. But if you are not entirely sure yet if Supernatural is the right one for you, go check out this video right here and I will see you next week.